everybody, my name is Mary with Mary Go Round Quilts and today I'm going to show you a beginner friendly free motion quilting design called Stippling. Let's get started. If you are a beginner quilter, I want to show you this fun, very simple beginner stitch called Stippling. Stippling is a good stitch to use as an all over design or to fill in a small space. So let's get started. Just knock this off. If there's one rule for stippling on how to learn how to do this design, I would say to make the letter S. We're gonna start with the letter S. There we have our letter S. We're gonna continue with a curve, continuous curves all throughout stippling and make another S in another direction. And now that we've done that, we're gonna to continue to make S's in another direction. And you just continue that all over your piece, making sure you have a continuous curve all over your design. Now you can make, you can choose to make your stippling, your S's a little bit more exaggerated, like I'm doing here. They're a little bit deeper in the curve, which is the style that I happen to like. When you're doing stippling, you wanna make sure you cover an entire area and don't leave any, any blank spots. If you leave blank spots, people will be able to see that when you're done. Try to be as random as possible. Make these S shapes all over your quilt without crossing over any previous stitching lines. You don't wanna go like that. That is a no-no. So you just want to keep on making these S shapes all throughout. Trying to make sure, you, again, that you fill in all these spaces. If you have to make a littler stippling stitch to fit in somewhere, then that's fine. Try not to go in a straight line. You want it to be as random as possible. As you can see, I've got a little bit of an opening up here, so I'm just gonna go in and put a little something in there to take up that spot. You can also think of stippling as hills and valleys. You can also think of them as puzzle pieces. That's what I think of when I'm doing stippling, is that these remind me of puzzle pieces. Now this is a good design. Try to not make your stippling too small when you're just starting out. I know that we have a tendency to concentrate and focus. And when we focus a little too hard, everything gets smaller. So you wanna just kind of let loose, breathe, and try to cover some distance with your stippling. There is no right or wrong. Try not to make it in a straight line and just keep going until you filled in all the space on your quilt top. Stippling is also a fun design to use for an all over pattern if you wanna make it large. If you wanna get a quilt done quickly, um, you're trying to get something done in a weekend, this is the perfect stitch to do an all over design. Just make it a little bit larger and you can cover more ground. Here I'm making my stippling a little bit larger so you can see, but make sure you still cover all the spaces and don't leave any gaps. 
but just continue making these S shapes however you see fit. I've kind of worked myself into a spot here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this space in and then I'm going to tie off. I'm just gonna tie off here, no one's gonna notice. And there you have your stippling. Let's pull this out and take a look at the whole thing. And there we have our stippling, making a bunch of curves in the shape of the letter S all over. You can make your stippling smaller to medium size, or you can go crazy and make it big. Just make sure you fill in all the space if you're making it big. And that is how you do this beginner-friendly stippling design.